This is a training film on how to set the DK1 gopher trap manufactured by PW Manufacturing in Henrietta, Oklahoma. When you purchase the trap, it will come in the position that you're looking at. We call this the closed position. Before you start to work with the trap, always be sure that you're wearing gloves. That is very important. Don't try to do this with your bare hands. We'd like to show you a few of the parts of the DK1 gopher trap. The first part we're going to show you as we pick it up in our right hand is the tail. This tail will be what we will use in a moment to set the trap. These are the jaws. When they're in the open position in a moment, you will see more how they work. The trip is what actually trips the trap. The trip is around the spring and this is the spring latch. On the other end is a metal loop and this loop is there for you to place a wire stake to hold your uh, trap down in case a bigger animal were to get a hold of the gopher after he's killed. Take the trap in your right hand. Your first two fingers will go under the spring and your thumb will reach to the spring latch. At this time we will undo the spring just like this and allow it to turn over and the spring is now opened. When the spring is open, the spring latch will be right up here with the part of the spring. At this time, we're going to take the tail. Now, the number one problem that we have with the traps is the fact that most people want to bring the whole tail over the top. That does not happen. If you can notice, there's a little bitty lip on the bottom of the tail. That is what goes over your jaw. It goes over the jaw and the longer part goes under the jaw and down to the spring. While you're holding it down to the spring, take the trip and slide it up onto the spring. All right, while it is there, you're going to take the trap in your right hand. With your left hand, you're going to take the spring latch, being careful that you do not put your hand under the trip. You keep the hand away from the trip. Now, the second thing that people do wrong with the DK1 is they want to turn this part. This part does not turn. If you turn this part, you will ruin the whole trap. Watch carefully as I place those same two fingers back under there and I'm going to hold this with my left hand. My right hand is going to rotate the entire metal part of the trap around clockwise and lock it into the spring. The spring is now locked in position. The only thing that is left for you to do is to bring the tail and bring the trip down right to the very end of the tail. It is now set and ready for your gopher. You'd go to where the fresh mound of the gopher is, and, and you would take this and you would set it down. You would dig the mound out to where you can see the runway. This will go right down into the runway, just like this. Cover a little dirt back up on the side, but you want to leave this open. The gopher, regardless of where he is, will come to this opening because this air and sunlight, whatever's coming down in here, will bother him. And he will come up through here pushing dirt. And as he comes through here, he will his head or the dirt, whichever gets there first, will hit this and the gopher is caught. And that's the way the DK-1 gopher trap works.